Hey, what's good, gang? Y'all already know what's going on, man. It's your boy, Cobb, man. We back again with another video for y'all today. As you can see in the title, we got girl, he funny as fuck. 44, how girls say no, bro. Now, if you a nigga, man, you ever, you know what I'm saying, talk to a little shorty or something like that, y'all know they be coming up with some crazy excuses. I mean, I don't really, you know what I'm saying, deal with that because... Ain't nobody going to make excuse. Not, nah, I'm playing. I'm chilling. I even had that happen to me a couple of times. Like, you know what I'm saying? John said, oh, yeah. I can't do this this time because of this. I can't do this. And it, basically, bro, if they if they keep making excuses, they don't want to see you, bro. I'm sorry. I'm telling you. As, as your nigga right now, I'm telling you. They don't want to see you. Because a girl going to make time for somebody they want to see. That's on purge. But um, let's get into this, man. Let's see what he's talking about. You know he ready to be acting a damn fool in this bitch. All right, so I'm going to pick you up at 8. OMG, you going to hate me. You going to hate me. Right there. That's the common case of I'm not coming. <laughs> Anytime a girl says, you're going to hate me, it's because she's not arriving. Sorry, buddy. Huh? Find another girl or just focus on yourself, King. <laughs> Put that crown on your head, King. All right, so we still going tonight or what? I was out all day. Like, I'm tired. That one is crazy. That one right there is definitely like a most Jews one. I was out all day. Oh, yeah. They be like, I'll be out all day. Da, 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 da. I'm like, bro, we've been planning this for two years. <laughs> and he was all of a sudden out for all day. Come on now. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm really not. Canceling on you, buddy. When a girl says I was out all day and I was tired, that's her way of saying sorry, dickhead. I am not <laughs> sorry, <arriving."> dickhead. <laughs> Ain't that right? What is this fucking nasty at <laughs> all? You look so pretty today. Pretty? Yesterday I was beautiful. See, I already see you changing already. You should look fuck it. I'm not going out today. I'm already on my period. You're gonna be mad. <laughs> This one is very common right here. The hair oh not done. Oh my god. King, does this really deserve an explanation? She doesn't want to see you. She doesn't want to come over. Just stop. She's not coming. Oh, 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 oh and she's a broke hole. Unless you pay for it, you're never going to see her with her hair done. Jeez, I ain't one. never think of it like that. That kind of makes sense though, because like, if she don't ever want to go nowhere, but she wants to go places, but she don't go places because her hair is done, isn't done, then maybe she don't got that money to do her hair, which means that she can't go, which means she's a broke hoe. I low key was a confusing guy. Shout, shout out to my to, to my nigga girl. He funny as fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but very interested, bro, because so far he's on point with all of these. I've heard. Probably about two. The most common ones I think I've heard was the hair don't, and that's what niggas be saying. I see you on Facetime all the time, like da da da. What's the? And then they like, oh, I can't go because of my hair. I'm like, bro, if you busted, you busted. Like, if you don't want to go, just say that. You feel me? Whenever she decides to stop. This fucking fit is crazy. Yo, we gonna have so much fun tonight. OMG, you not gonna believe this. You're not going to believe this. The reason why she said you're not going to believe this is because she don't even believe it. She's a liar. Now, this phrase, you're not going to believe it, is actually cousins with, guess what happened? And aunties with, you're going to hate me. She's basically saying she's not going to see you. Focus on yourself. She deserves less. Jeez. All right, so we still going to the carnival? I don't know because I got work tomorrow. You got work tomorrow at 5 p.m. I'm going to bring you home today by 8. I don't know because I need my sleep. Oh gosh, I need my sleep. <laughs> this character. Come on, it's embarrassing us at this point, <laughs> King. She doesn't like you. <laughs> she wants her money. 
All right, so we still going to the movies? Um, I don't know. I gotta help my mom with something. Mmm, the mom. <laughs> I almost choked. This is the most common excuse, not for just women, but for men as well. First of all, her mom is dead, right? <laughs> Second of all, men and women both use this excuse. Why he say that shit so nonchalantly? First of all, her mom is dead. Like, nah, dead ass though. I I've used that on John's like, well, not even specifically my mom, but I'd be like, dang. I usually use it like my bro. Like I say, like, dang, I gotta help my friend move this week. Oh, I gotta, I gotta help my brother with this shit. Oh, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's probably the most used one for me personally. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and it can't go wrong because you ask your bro, "Yo, I'm gonna help you. I'm helping you this weekend, right?" He gonna know what the he know he gonna know what dominant is. You know what I'm saying? He gonna say, "Yeah, yeah, he's helping me this weekend." So you're not about to catch me. Because what are you gonna tell them? Don't help their mom with something. And why is it always something? They never tell you what it actually they is. They don't. Just know that she's not coming, okay, buddy? Focus on yourself. All right, for all my kings out there, um, if she texts you back the next day, even though y'all was supposed to go out yesterday, don't text her back. That's dead. If she texts you like three hours after the time y'all was supposed to meet up, and she says, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I was asleep, I don't know what happened. And ain't nothing to cut that off. Hey, that's that used to be a job back in the day. She's not interested, or maybe she doesn't feel comfortable around you. So is it that you keep talking to her and figure her out while she figures you out, or you just leave her alone because she's lying? There's nothing wrong with saying that you just don't want to come. But after canceling my cable, I saved twenty four hundred dollars this year by switching to Beast TV through ChannelsForCheap.com. Some people pay two hundred. Oh hell no! Nah. This nigga put an ad on. Don't nobody want to hear that, nigga. But, um, nah, this was dead accurate, though. Like, if you really think about it, any nigga that talks to, like, females or whatever, you've heard this excuse before. It don't matter if you even get bitches or you don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Because back when I was in the game, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really in the game like that no more. But, um, back when I was in the game, you know, here and there, I would get that sometimes. The, like I said, the most common one was the hair not done shit, which is hilarious because he was like, they just broke. They can't get their hair done. I feel like girls love their hair, so if they can't get it done, it's a possibility. Or they keep talking about it so you can, they can get you to pay. Like, damn, I just wish I had the money to get my hair done. Da, da, da. Like, shorty, you, you're not even my shorty. Like, I'm not paying for your hair, dickhead. But, um, that one in the, um... What was the other one he said? Ah. Oh, the sleep one. The sleep one, I feel like. The I'm tired one, that shit is very... Like, it, you'll be like, they'll be like, I'm tired. And then the, the next night you see them up to like third, like for 10 hours partying, fucking taking shots. Blah, 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 like. So it's all cap, King. Like he said, take care of yourself, King. Don't, don't go for this shit. Don't fall for it. But um, it really works both ways because, like I said, there was something here that I've used on females. So, hope none of them are watching this video. But, yeah, because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it's, it's kind of hard. Like, niggas be like, oh, yeah, just say no. But it's like you might not want to go go fuck with the person that day. For, like, you may just not want to and you don't want to hurt their feelings. like, Or you don't think they'll believe the, re the, the real reason. Like, I just don't feel like going. If you just tell somebody, I just don't feel like going, they're going to think, oh, you don't fuck with me, you don't like me. So that's why people be coming up with reasons like mm, this and that, da, 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 da. Because they don't, they don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with a little white lie sometimes. You feel me? But y'all let me know in the comment section down below, which excuse have y'all heard the most? Uh, I definitely think it's the hair one for me. And um, if y'all like the reaction, don't forget to leave a... Like, comment, subscribe, bro. Y'all already know the vibes, man. Love y'all. Appreciate you. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Peace.